everybody and welcome to today's story time. We are so looking forward to seeing lots of you later when you pop by for your meet and greet. Today we're going to read Norman the Slug with a Silly Shell. So like, let's get comfortable and we'll begin. Norman the Slug thought snails were great. Wow, said Norman, look at them, they're amazing. But unfortunately, the snails didn't think Norman was great. Norman, you silly slug, they cried. You've spoiled our fun. This only works if you've got a shell. Norman felt left out. Sadly, he sulked off into the moonlight. Poor Norman. If only I had a shell of my own, he sighed, looking at his reflection. And that's when he had an idea. Maybe I could have a shell after all, he thought. But finding a shell was not as easy as it seemed. One was too bouncy. One was too noisy. And one was already taken. Norman needed time to think. Ta-da! A shell! It was perfect. Norman had never been happier. He could join the snails at last. Norman loved being a snail and the snails loved Norman's silly shell. Look at him there. But the fun didn't last for long. Suddenly there was a loud flapping of wings. Look out! Bird! cried the snails in a panic. Quick! Slither for your lives or we'll end up as supper. The bird was more interested in Norman's silly shell. It looked delicious. Norman was being carried up, up and away, higher and higher into the sky. What could he do? Norman did the only thing a slug could do. He made slime, lots and lots of it. Now with a slither and a slother and a slip and a slide, Norman was free. But he was falling faster and faster and faster until plunk. Norman, Norman, are you okay? Asked the snails. Wow, said Norman, that was great. I love flying. If only I had wings. Ta-da! And look, there's Norman using a pair of underpants. To help him fly like the birds. My goodness me, Norman is very, very silly. I hope you enjoyed that story today, boys and girls. We are looking forward to seeing you all later and we will see you tomorrow for another story time. Bye!